There she blows. Three big peaks we're hiking toward. On the far left is the Big Mama, Mount Everest. In the middle is Lotse, the third highest peak. And fifth, sorry, thank you, Dean, correcting my stats. And on the far right is Abdanam. Abadamam. Abadamadamadamam. <laughs> Something like that. Look it up if you're curious. Uh, definitely a bucket list moment seeing that mountain right there. So cool. And we're only getting closer. All right, so a few observations on days four through six of this trek. First one for today, the food has been surprisingly amazing. For breakfast each day, we usually have three options, uh, like cinnamon porridge, a uh, very basic omelet and toast, or a uh, local, uh, I don't even know what to call it, I haven't tried it yet, but it's what all the Sherpas eat, so it must be full of nutrients. Lunch is usually, uh, and dinner, are usually dalbat, which is the local food here. Uh, we eat that a lot, but it's not a problem because it's kind of like a yellow vegetable curry with rice. I could eat more of it, to be honest. Uh, sometimes we mix it up with spaghetti, or even one night we had a Nepali uh, pizza, which is pretty tasty. So all in all, really well fed here. Look at this river behind me as I talk. Oops, down. Ready. Namaste. Arrived in Tengbuche. <coughs> totally in the clouds now. All right, yesterday when we arrived, we were in Cloud Village, but we woke up to Blue Skyville, and it is beautiful. We're just getting ready to start going for the day and check this out. I'm gonna move the aperture up there. Wow, look at those mountains. That's Abba Ama Dablam. We're camping right below that, or staying right below that tonight. Crew's getting ready to go. Should be a fun day. So, the next observation for today is that it is pretty fucking cold here. I didn't have any illusions of beach weather, but uh, I'm not sure I was fully mentally prepared for this. During our first few days, the temperatures in the day were in the 20s. But today, as we've crossed 4,000 meters, it's gotten quite a bit colder. Uh, up at the top, I think maybe the high is zero. Uh, which is not too bad, as long as you have a nice down top and 
uh, you don't stop moving. The coals and the wind really get you if you s stay still too long. At night, it gets really cold. And anything that you don't want to be completely frozen, because there's no insulation where we're staying, you have to sleep within your sleeping bag. So that's water bottles, uh, and batteries, and anything else that you don't want to have hurt to touch in the morning. Uh, and so what that leads to is my sleeping bag is half me and half my junk that I'm trying to keep warm. <laughs> There's our stay for tonight. Ding Boucher. Fourteen thousand three hundred. Rest day tomorrow. All right, last observation for today. We have a lot of time each day walking, six to eight hours, so there's plenty of time for conversation, storytelling, and even singing. And I've learned one Nepali trekking song, and I've taught some of the group a German one and I'm gonna sing, sing them for you now. So first, the German song, Sasha taught it to me, it goes, Hey yo, spann der Wagen an, sie wie der Wind treibt Regen übers Land, hol die golden Gaben, hol die golden Gaben, hey yo. And you repeat like that. The Nepali version, the Nepali song I think is a bit cooler, it goes, Rasam piriri, rasam piriri. Uda da junki, da 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 panjung, rasam piriri. Which means, I'm a piece of cotton, and please carry me safely over the mountain. Uh, that's it for now. Take care. <laughs>